Egg beater just broke and I want French toast. Mate, this ain't redneck engineering. This is just like upper white class engineering. A redneck would freaking use, you know, like a paddle or something like that. Trust me, we make it work. Definitely some out of the box sinking. Yeah, I actually really like it. It saves a lot of space. 10 out of 10. A friend of mine made phone case with an integrated heat sink for his mobile phone so it won't get too hot when playing BDT6. What is BDTD6? I don't know, but uh, yeah, that uh, Oh, balloon tower defense six? Bro, that'll fry your phone. How? Oh. Um, where there's a will, there's a way. We put a wood stove heater in the back of a rental car. It uh, scratched the inside to hell, but a little bit of marker, good to go. Found this at a garage sale for 20 bucks, but when I asked the older gentleman selling it what it was, he just said, it's very loud, and chuckled to himself. <laughs> oh my God, you have to buy this for $20, dude. Hmm, Tesla with backup power. I'm not th sure that's exactly how that works, but if it does, if I ever buy a Tesla, that's how I'm doing it. No door handle? Just grab the plastic fork and give it a York, and you can eat your rice after opening the door. When the padlock don't fit, you just weld it, weld it to fit, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. I had an emergency. Need for dry sock. Hmm, I've done stuff like this and I actually caught my pants on fire. Well, it starts smoking. Actually, there's really no need for a cock gun ever again if you happen to have these items laying around the garage or shed. It works pretty much exactly like an actual cock gun. Or you could just buy a cock gun for like $5. Mom, the knob of the crock pot is missing. No problem, crass is averted. Put that little bad boy in there. Boom, now it's a trophy. I kept breaking handles on my old trench and shovel. I don't think I can break this one. Hmm, I mean you could with enough force if you're the Hulk. This used to be a Land Rover Defender. Now it's a Land Rover Coffin Mobile, I, I don't know. Good place for a toolbox. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that actually is a really good place for a toolbox unless you get in an accident because then someone's getting stabbed with a screwdriver. That's one way to replace a clock. Yeah, just tape another clock in front of it. That's the uh, cheap public school way, baby. Rice cooker turns off too easily. There you go, just uh, yeah, put, a, put a cup of coffee on top of it. That'll keep it awake. Installed heated grips for my morning ride. Does it look okay? Not original content, but thought it fit here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've done the exact same thing with my moped when I lived in Florida and it got down to 40 degrees when I didn't have any gloves. Trapped on the other side of a push door, tape can handle that. Yep, totally. Just uh, tape a handle, boom, good to go. Minimalist Christmas tree. Nice, nice, 108 to 10. I hate decorating Christmas trees. A hammer that someone made at my job. And this is what we call the tetanus hammer. You use it and you get tetanus for free. Power was out and had to charge a phone. I've, I've done stuff like this with my science club friends. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fun and dangerous. It's not that dangerous, but it's fun to mess with it. Duct tape plus map equals fender. Hmm, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're on the moon, it's not like you can make a new fender. <laughs> Have to be quiet while late night gaming. Just uh, throw a cup over your mouth. Yep, totally, that'll work. Also, I like those old blue turtle beaches. I used to have those. Only one toothpick saved my GPO from permanent death. Hmm, how, uh, how does that work? I might be stupid, but how does that keep it alive? For sale, fishing boat. Hmm, um, does it have a mo- Oh my god, dude, it's like a paddle boat that's electric. I would buy this in a second if it's only like a couple hundred bucks. Toaster spring lock broke, but a metal wire bottle in a Kroger bag seems to be the perfect container weight. Now just have to watch and make sure it doesn't burn down my house. Or, or you could go to a yard sale and buy a toaster for $5. Or this, this works. When you can't quite reach the bolt hole. Yeah, this'll, uh, this'll definitely work. I, I could see you turning the, the bolt, uh, you know, pretty easily when it's taped to your finger. Trash bag belt. Eh, I've done worse. That's also a, a, a grocery bag belt, sir. Cold drafty house. Tuck point with plastic bags and butter knife. Oh, dude, that's actually really smart. I'm gonna do this next winter. Yellow jacket trap. There are about six of these across the front of the strip mall. Hmm. I, uh, I like it, but also, what happens if the jar falls one day and the bees are still alive? That's gonna be a bad day. When you don't listen to your parents, when they tell you to keep the music down. Yep, that'll, uh, that'll do it, but also, you could just unscrew it. It'd take five seconds. A PC that you can roll anywhere. Hell yeah, bro, that's definitely not gonna damage it or anything, and you're not gonna get tire dust on your hands. Perfect PC. Bro pulled up on the tumble dry setting. I've been pretty damn broke. Like, really? Really damn broke. 
that I've used a donut to where a showing cord. But this, this is a level I haven't gotten to yet and I respect you for making this. New tool die. Hell yeah, mate, you got the ratchet d d wrench hammer. Yeah, that's a great tool. It's not gonna break at all because you're crappy weld. Scrambling to get my exterior faucets covered. Eh, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Totally. Tim the tool man grunting noises. Oh God, that's a death trap and a half. Look at that blade. My bedroom's door handle. I've been there, I've been there. I used a fork, a metal fork, and a zip tie for a year. Don't tell me I need some fancy freaking bow. I just got me this, you know, this this container that farmers use and I uh, put a motor on it. There you go, buddy. Sign secure. Yeah, that's up to code. That's not gonna, that's not gonna get you a fine or anything at a gas station where an electric thing could break and, you know. I have no idea what's happening. Well, they had a broken Jeep and Jeeps all suck, so they turned it into a trailer. That's the best use you'll ever get out of Jeep. Not that it's gonna be good for gas mileage. Cinder block cup holder. Now this we actually did. We had uh, one of those vans that had a toilet in it. Uh, it's not a sprinter van, whatever they were called with the shag carpeting when I was little. And we will legit use the cinder block as a seat by throwing a towel over it and as a cup holder. Need an electric sander for a flooring project. My dad, if OSHA stops by, you didn't get this from me. Jesus Christ, dad, what did you make? Aluminum foil used as wrapping paper. Now this, this, this we have done in my family. This and toilet paper wrapping paper. I mean, it's better than driving the scooter with a baby in your lap. I mean, I, I guess, I guess, or you could just like not do that. It's winter. I, I'm so confused here. Do you need a handicap sticker for this thing? I, I don't know. God's real perfect car. The orange monster Mustang, Iowa made. I used to pass this almost daily. What in the ever loving Christ is the gas mileage on this one? My Chromecast was overheating, so I gave it some cooling things. Shower beer, yep, been here. We used a Mountain Dew bottle. City repaired this sidewalk access cover with a street sign. Hey man, reduce, reuse, and recycle, baby. Spot on my way to Walmart. You'll always see some good stuff on the way to Walmart and at Walmart. This is fantastic and actually completely legal in some states. Every year we barbecue during Christmas and New Year's Eve in our fireplace. Why though? Why though? That's that's just not worth it. That That's just no. Didn't have electrical tape, so I used a straw and hand ties. Huh, that's actually pretty damn smart. If I ever break my cord, that's what I'm doing. Just woke up from a nap to my screw missing. Used two staples. Hmm, now it's pretty ingenious. I had to zoom in to look at that, but like, that took some effort, but I appreciate it. The supply line to my toilet is presumably frozen. I've gotten very tired of refilling like four jugs. Using some styrofoam and packing tape, I've made refilling the basin much less of a manual process. Bro, you're an actual genius. I don't have a sink in my bathroom anymore. I'm remodeling my house and the sink's on back order, but uh, I wish I would have thought about this before removing my sink. Whatever this is, this my friend is the battle car. If it fits, it ships. I, I don't think that's how it works. Also, this looks really bad, but also you could stand on the back of your truck in that gap. That might actually work. God's perfect Corvette brought to you by an Ontario redneck. Yeah, buddy. Smelly room, dryer sheets. Actually, this works really well. I learned this by living with like my roommate Ty for a while. It works like 10 out of 10, dude. Toilet flush in a hotel. Eh, nice, but also why? But also nice. I like good big headphones and go hard at work. These ain't going anywhere now. Is that a VR headset? Yeah, I guess those aren't going anywhere. That, that was worth it. Well, those are certainly brake lights. I mean, yeah, dude, as long as they're there, it's legal. And in most states, you don't need the third middle one. So this is totally fine. No stores around me had any spigot insulators in stock, so I had to improvise. We're expecting nine degrees Fahrenheit tonight. Also, there is a Carhartt beanie inside the cup. Bro, a Yeti cup? That is actually freaking genius. Got tired of my kid calling out all through the night for drinks. Boom, best 10 bucks I ever spent. Does your kid actually use this or is it a joke? If your kid uses this, there's something wrong with him. Fat and broke with no leather working tools? Use a circular chainsaw file to create new notches in a leather belt. Or just a, a knife or a screwdriver. That, that's all it takes. Rust migration check. Hmm, yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, definitely not. Heated outhouse. I feel like you're gonna die if you poop in there from smoke inhalation, but I'm gonna try it. I fixed it. Good as new. That That's not safe. Don't ever use like a broken microwave. It's just not safe. The plow truck was overheating, so created winter vent. 
when your clutch is too slippery from the snow. Put a glove on it. There you go. Trunk won't stay shut. Simple fix. Or actually, yeah, this is this is if you ever get rear-ended, your trunk a lot of times won't ever shut again, right? Just take a bungee cord and snap that baby down. Ready for winter. Actually, this would be a great plow thing. Like, you don't understand. Most trucks sometimes are too big on like country roads where I live, because like the the driveways suck. This would be perfect. We have a razor for it, but this this might be better. It's it, it's closed in. My gramps crafted himself a custom mechanics chair. I like your gramps. He's one of those handy fellas. Actually, pretty neat. Yeah, that actually is pretty neat. I like that. I kind of want a fireplace like this. It's not gonna put off a lot of heat, but it looks cool as hell. 